morning, everyone, and welcome to our morning prayer on this Thursday, the 4th of June. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. And this is Psalm 67. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And so let's just keep silent for a moment or two, and think indeed of the day that lies open before us, with all its opportunities. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The psalm set for today is Psalm 146. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps his promise for ever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow, but the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign for ever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And our reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, and beginning at verse 51. As the, time, as the time drew near for his return to heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. He sent messengers ahead to a Samaritan village to prepare for his arrival but they were turned away. The people of the village refused to have anything to do with Jesus because he had resolved to go to Jerusalem. When James and John heard about it, they said to Jesus, Lord, should we order down fire from heaven to burn them up? But Jesus turned and rebuked them. So they went on to another village. As they were walking along, someone said to Jesus, I will follow you no matter where you go. But Jesus replied, Foxes have dens to live in, and birds have nests. 
But I, the Son of Man, have no home of my own, not even a place to lay my head. He said to another person, Come, be my disciple. The man agreed, but he said, Lord, first let me return home and bury my father. Jesus replied, Let those who are spiritually dead look after their own dead. Your duty is to go and preach the coming of the kingdom of God. Another said, Yes, Lord, I will follow you, but first let me say goodbye to my family. Jesus told him, Anyone who puts a hand to the plough and then looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our canticle from Isaiah chapter 42. Thus says God who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as covenant to the people a light to the nations to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. From the song of Zechariah, which he sang on the birth of his son, John the Baptist. Blessed be the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And the collect for this week, the week of Pentecost. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your church with the breath of love. And renew the face of the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we turn to our intercessions. And as usual there will be a space to add your own intercessions, your own petitions, your own requests to God. Our reading today was from Luke's Gospel, and it shows that following Jesus is not easy. His standards are very high, and there will be opposition from other people, and there will be hardships. But then, we have the help of the Holy Spirit, as Pentecost Sunday reminded us. 
And so we begin with a prayer to the Holy Spirit of God. Come, Holy Spirit, bring us into the way of truth. Free our lives from all that hinders our lives of faith, that we may love and serve you in true obedience. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our weak and empty lives with your strength and power. Flood our parched lives with streams of living water. Ignite our cold lives with the intensity of holy fire. Clothe us with power to witness to the love of Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Come as a surging wind and fill every nook and cranny of our lives and give us power to live and speak for Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill our lives with the strength of your presence. Empower us for whatever task, great or small, that is your will for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the healing of those who are ill in any way whether due to the virus or with any other illness, physical or mental. We pray for those who are alone or anxious or suffering from mental health problems, for the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and your peace and feel your touch. And so we pause now to allow, allow you to add the names of any people or groups who, who you know and you especially want to remember, either through the comment box or in the privacy of your own home. We pray for Dave O'Brien, who's being operated on today in Broad Green Hospital. We remember those who have no one to pray for them, those who have little or no family support. who are caring for the sick, whether family or professional health workers, for doctors, nurses, paramedics, orderlies and other NHS staff, and for medical researchers that through their combined care and skill, many will be restored to health. We pray for the staff in care homes and indeed for all carers, as they act of agents of your healing touch. Keep them strong, yet loving. And when their work is done, be with them in their weariness and in their tears. for those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies that they may make wise decisions. We remember our own Prime Minister and the Cabinet, local councillors and MPs. We pray that the loosening of the breakdown might be judged well and there would be no second wave. We pray for the return of the schools and we pray for teachers and children and all school staff.
And as we pray for our own leaders, we remember the troubles of countries overseas and for their governments. We think of the United States and we pray for an end to the rioting and destruction in the cities of that nation and for a measured response from the president and state governors. We pray for the leaders of the poorer nations of the world and the people there with their particular problems. We pray for places like Syria and the Yemen and parts of Africa where there is open war. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are little noticed and yet whose work is vital to keep this country running. For delivery drivers, shop workers, post persons, those working in telecommunications, indeed any others that we might know. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, let's pray for ourselves this day, for the things we have to do, the things we want to do and can't, for the people we shall meet, that we might be able to minister to them, even if it's only with a smile and a nod. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we bring these prayers to our Father, as we say together the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so I hope you have a good day today. A safe day and a happy day. And that you come safely home this evening. And of course, this evening we have our evening prayer at the usual time of seven o'clock. So until then, may God bless you and keep you. Amen.